Welcome to Tidy Transformations, our brand new mini series for summer 2022. We are going to be heading outside of the Haley's Help headquarters and stepping into the garden. I will be doing a complete summer overhaul of the Haley's Help garden and turning it into a little piece of paradise. Along with the transformation, I will be bringing us all some tidy tips on how we can keep our gardens tidy and tranquil. I will be showing how by adding key items which are carefully positioned, you can open up the feel of your garden space and transform the overall look to go from this to this. When we moved into our home back in 2018, the garden design was pretty much a plain canvas enabling me to get my thinking cap on. So in 2019, we focused on transforming these two areas of the garden and installed a marble decking area and replaced the grass edging with stones and marble. Since then, I have been on at Robbie the Ranger for ages on how I would like a peaceful and tranquil retreat that I can go to outside to get away from the dramas of being a homemaker. It's no secret to those of you that are OGs here and that have been around for a while, I suffer from various mental health issues. And something that really helps with my mental health is finding a calm space. Basically, I wanted a summer house. I struggled to find something that I felt would be big enough but without taking away the small limited space I was working with. I then stumbled across Tiger Shed's Corner Summer House. This is a perfect shaped summer house as it is working with space as opposed to against it. I checked that the location and position of where I wanted it to go took into account the orientation of the sun as I have heard they can get very very hot. Luckily, where I wanted it to go was a perfect location. I put my order through, opting for the 7x7 size. A few weeks later, our Tiger Shed summer house was delivered. Delivery was on time as advised and the driver placed all the parts out the front by the door. I loved the little extras and welcome pack that came with the summer house which included two tiger door signs and a metal tiger plaque and reassurance that it comes with a 20 year guarantee. As well as the summer house we also opted for the eco base kit option. This will allow us to create a base for the summer house itself. With everything delivered, it is now time, team, to start our tidy transformation. The first thing we did was mark out the area where the summer house was going to be installed using the EcoBase grids to help. Once marked, it was time to move the existing soil deep enough to fit the EcoBase grids. To keep the base level, we added topsoil and sand like so. The eco-based fastfit is made up of recycled grids that interconnect to provide us with a base for our summer house to sit on. It is an environmentally friendly alternative to paving flags or wet mix concrete and they not only firmly support the summer house but are long lasting and allow the ground to be well drained. You simply add a weed control, connect them, then add the gravel that sits into each slot. Prior to piecing together the summer house, I added a coat of wood treatment to all the pieces and left to dry for a few hours. It was then a case of following the easy DIY instructions slotting the pieces together and securing with bolts and nails provided. Soon after, my transformation was starting to take shape. At this 
stage, we painted the door frames and window columns with black fence paint. And by we, I mean Robbie. The Tiger Shed Summer House was starting to look like a real tiger. With the black and burnt orange colour scheme complete and with everything put together, it was time to install the roofing and secure again using the nails provided. The last big job to complete was the tempered glass windows. We held these in place with temporary nails and used a clear all weather sealant to seal and secure. With the sun starting to go down, we had almost completed the entire build project in one weekend. The next day, Robbie got up early to add the finishing touches. We added the front panels, tiger plaque, potted trees, solar lights, and finished with stones to cover the eco base foundation. With the summer house now built and the transformation taking shape, it's time for my tidy transformation tips. As you have seen, I have already treated our tiger shed summer house prior to Robbie putting it up in our garden space. However, my top tip would be to make this a regular thing that you do every two years. When treating the wood, choose a treatment that is tough, durable and retains its colour for longer. Treating the summer house effectively can stop the wood from rotting, splitting and warping. Tidy up the roof. Your summer house roof and seals should be checked every year. Ideally, you want it to be completely free from debris. So brush away any loose material and if you notice a build up of moss, that needs to come off as it prevents the surface of your summer house from fully drying out. Try not to fill your summer house with junk. This is a place for relaxation and solitude. Use it as a place to unwind and keep your space clutter free by regularly checking what is within your summer house and deciding whether you want to keep it, donate it or if it's broken, take it to the tip. Remember to wash your windows. The outside of the windows can get really dirty due to them being directly in your garden space. The best way to clean your windows is by using tea. So what you need to do is in a bowl, place some tea bags, here I am using two, put some boiling water in it, let the tea bag stew for a little while and then go ahead and get a cloth and some gloves. We wear gloves because they are heat resistant to a certain level. Then you can go ahead and wipe the tea solution on your windows. Once you've done that, go ahead and with a glass cleaning cloth, I like to use the Marigold Crystal Clear Cloth, go ahead and buff them dry. Already the garden has been transformed, however, I now need to get working on the interior and the rest of the garden. Next time on Tidy Transformations, I will be focusing on seating and showing the perfect DIY solution as well as some of my tidy tips. Until then team, as always, keep it clean.